Okay, what's up YouTube? I'm Jamie, and you're watching Miniocalypse. So where we're at today is we put in about 16 hours of work on the Frost Giant. We tried to get as far as we could in a six hour challenge, and now we're finishing them up. We'll get all that posted, you'll see. So now I'm just gonna touch a little bit on what's happened. I lost a few days on it, got sick. Kept struggling at it as much as I could. Ended up having to take some bed rest, coming back to it. So this video is coming out a little bit late. But in the meantime, I was able to make some upgrades and move my desk. We got the tree put up. It's been all right, but I'm glad to be back. Okay, just adding in some Vallejo Gloss White, getting them eye sockets on the uh, skull there nice and bright so later when we add our magic effect to it, it helps with the, the glow. I'm just applying that skeleton bone real thin, making sure the coat's nice and even, trying to keep the most of the paint on the raised areas to keep them brighter for the highlights. So I found this spot that I must have missed during the prep. Uh, I think it was a chunk of the actual resin or plastic. So I got in there, scraped it off, ended up chipping it away. So it ended up okay. All right, what I'm doing here is cleaning and smoothing everything. Just making sure everything's all right before I go on to the next step. Any areas I've missed, any edges I have went over into something else, you know, just clean them up, touching up the highlights, making sure I like the way it looks. Okay, once again, just cleaning it up, keeping the color smooth, making sure everything's solid. That way we can start layering our colors over top of this Bugman's Glow. Okay, just a dark wash over the top layers of the leather vest here. Just getting it dark. We're going to put some details into this.
these will look good and ready to be ran through in the snow. It's going to look good, nice and dark. I like it. I find that black is a pretty good base layer for your metallic paints. I had gotten pretty sick during the filming of this, so I'm just now getting back to it, doing the voiceover for a couple parts here and there. What we're doing here is we're using the Citadel Air Lorthrin Blue. I like how thin it is, and I can usually find the air paints in the bargain bins in my local shops, so it works fine on the brush. It's just like a thin wash. I like it. Okay, here we're just really using the Drakenoff nightshade to sink into those recesses and really, you know, wash out those details one good time on the skin before we lighten it all up again. Mm -hmm. 